So good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor that I could just have some time with you to show the result of what we did the last 36 hours of the sync cell. This is part of the co-creation between OMA and BSF, as has been shown yesterday by David. Um, three scientists from BASF and three architects from o OMA were working on ideas. Ideas that have been submitted by the ideation tool in the creator space. So firstly, we went through these ideas and we're asking ourselves what are the ideas from a material manufacturer's perspective and from an architect's perspective that we should focus on the next 24 hours. So that has been these six ideas which David presented and that we have preparing yesterday in the afternoon a bit under a rush. After this rush, David asked us to go a bit further on and to evaluate these ideas. And what, of what consisted the evaluation? The evaluation consisted of visualization of the concept to make it clear to others what is in it. Secondly, we should figure, up, figure out the potential application and what could be a related business case. Then also, the market. Is there already something on the current market that could have this idea embodied? Or are there already as aspects of these ideas on the market? And very important, how to manufacture that? Additive manufacturing, large-scale world manufacturing tools, I don't know. And lastly, but not least, as David said, architects are dreamer. Look in the future and think of how could it look like and visualize this as a collage. So now I go through the four ideas that we have elaborated according to these four points. Firstly, fast self-growing building materials. Think about the sprout of a bean that just grows into the heaven. So the potential would be that we could work without the framework. Frameworking and reinforcement takes an awful amount of time. The chemistry involved is the free flow assembling. And then if you have all together with the outer wall, we have a column, a, a structural element that just could grow. Do you believe that could be possible with chemistry? without scaffolding, without a crane? We say yes. Um, think about this here is the propeller in a dishwasher. This propeller has two nozzles and a clamp with two reels. This is like a roller coaster that goes on a railroad. You have one nozzle that shoots to the upwards, one nozzle shooting towards the lower part. The upward part just accelerates this propeller and you make it sit on a helix structure. So you start on a helix structure and it just goes up and while shooting this here out, it continues to create a helix on which it's clamped and there is just roller coating. And this will, con this, this will continue as it propulses as long as you supply material. And the lower nozzle will just make a tube. So at the end, if you have a cross-section of this device, you will have a tube reinforced with a helix structure that you just can pour with concrete. And if you go for the concrete that we have as BSF, polymer fibers reinforce concrete, then you can even think about forgetting the reinforcement of steel. So then you really speed up the construction site work. And in addition to that, since no crane, no scaffolding necessary, you can construct on little areas. So that's something we believe in. Next. David just showed yesterday an idea that if we combine all the innovation from BESF and make there of a layered cake material, that could interact with us, the surrounding. It could shine light. It could change its texture so that we have different experience up in our presence. He mentioned, among others, this catwalk of Prada. So there is no potential catwalk, but it's a light beam that follows you. Imagine an urban environment where is a crowd shows up bright light, and there is nobody, it's dark. 
your surrounding reacts on you. You feel more comfortable and thereby you create a space where the, the quality of life increases. So the idea is that we have a surface that responds to its surrounding. We increase the public space quality of life and then we have this enabled biohouse chemistry. Another thing, bacteria. You know that everybody wears quite a lot of bacteria on the skin and you transfer them. So every time you touch a handle somewhere in public, transportation or anywhere, you just deposit a film of bacteria. Now imagine that we have a system that is functionalized like a sponge that collects this bacteria. If you touch it, it opens a pore, closes it, and just gets off the bacteria from your hand. And this sponge would just have a medium to grow the population of bacteria so that we don't need any more this petri dish. And the advantage of it is, in an urban environment, can show up diseases like pest, tuberculosis. And you would like to know as fast as possible that this thing is getting into your city before it causes fatalities. Similar to hospitals, if you have bacteries which are unfortunately um, not anymore reacting on antibiotics, then you have to detect that as fast as possible. Otherwise, you will have a lot of deaths. With this material from BASF, with this idea, you can really detect fast this occurrence. Last but not least, David mentioned yesterday that land is becoming scarce in big cities. Why? These big cities are often surrounded by water. So a potential idea or a potential solution to that is that one goes to the water. One constructs platforms on the water. Therefore, you need new materials which are like floating on the water, which are flexible enough not to break down on a shock. And therefore, we have had the idea to use porous concrete or hollow concrete, which is sealed in a, in a matrix that is water resistant and also absorbs the shear tension, which has a damping layer, so that in, if in, on top of it happens something, that it does not impact the structure below. And then on top you can construct football areas, tennis courts. So if you have an Olympiad, you just go to a bay and make it there. Or if you would like to have the office building with the best view in town, you go there and build it there. So we see we have the benefit that we increase the area that you could use, and therefore we need chemistry. That are the four ideas that the team of six people worked out during the last 36 hours. And I would like you to give them, which just come on stage, a warm applause. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anja, would you like to take a picture? <laughs> it's fantastic. Okay. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much for this. I was just camouflaging, sorry. Ah. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I misunderstood. Thank you very much again.